Hey, good morning, gentlemen. My name is Richard Muchica, and I am the founder of the Onward Men Podcast, a podcast built specifically for men that want to grow, that want to grow an income and impact and dominate your purpose. And today, guys, is Marriage Wednesday, and I'm going to be going over the three things that you must know about your wife if you want to have a more fulfilling marriage. But before we get into that content, I want to let you know that I'm all about the five M's of manhood, which are money, mission, muscles, mindset, and of course, marriage. Because I believe, gentlemen, with all of my heart, that you need to have all five if you want to be considered a high-performance man. And again, guys, as I always say, that if you're watching this podcast, congratulations, you're better than 99% of the guys out there because you have a commitment to growth in your life. You have a commitment to getting better each and every day. And on to today's content, guys, Marriage Wednesday. Man, I get fired up, man, with marriages because we as men, guys, need to cultivate better marriages. We are the leaders in our home. We need to step up and be men and be there for our families, be there for our wives. And today on Marriage Wednesday, I'm going to give you three, three things that you must know about your wife if you want to dominate your marriage. Number one, guys, is you must know that your wife is special. That is right, gentlemen. When's the last time you thought in your head that your wife is a special creation? Your wife, guys, is unique. Your wife chose you. Your wife believed in you. Your wife said, you know what? I'm going to marry this guy. I'm going to give myself over to this guy because I believe in him. I believe in his leadership. She is special, gentlemen, and you should treat her as so. And what do you do with something that's special? You give it special attention. You have a special place for it. You, per, you make special amount of time for it. You give them special recognition. Right, guys? That's what you do with something special. You treat it well. You treat it really, really well. So, guys, the first thing you must know about your wife is that she is a gem and she is special. So, treat her as so today, gentlemen. The second thing that you need to know about your wife is that she is craving she is begging, she is pleading for a manly leader in her household. She doesn't want another kid. She doesn't want another boy. She doesn't want another man. She wants a person, guys, that is going to meet her needs. She wants a person to know that, that the husband cares and that the husband is there for her and that he's going to lead her to victory, guys. Do you have a vision for your marriage? Are you leading your marriage somewhere? Does your wife know where you're taking her? Does your wife believe that you are going to get better every day to now lead the family better? She wants a manly leader in the home. Number one, she wants to know that she is special. Number two, you must know that she was craving a manly leader and you got to step up to the plate. You got to make the hard decisions. You got to let her know why you're making the decisions. And as you stack those wins in your life, guys, she's going to have a lot of belief in you because she says, Hey man, you know what? My husband, he's leading this family. He knows where he wants to go. He's adopting a bias towards action and he's just crushing it. Guys, she needs a leader in the home. She craves a leader in the home. And that's the second thing that you must know about your wife. The third thing that you must know about your wife, gentlemen, is that she is paying attention. She is paying attention just like your kids, just like your coworkers, she is watching you guys and she is looking up to you and she's studying you and she's going to remember all the things that you said that you didn't do. She's going to remember all the things you promised and you didn't keep those promises. She's going to remember all the good things that you did to her. She's going to keep all the good memories that you said to her. Guys, your wife is paying attention. And if you want to build more trust in your marriage, if you want to have more uh, relation, relational uh, stuff in your marriage, if you want to have more sex in your marriage, then you better understand this principle, guys, that your wife right now has her eyes on you and she is paying attention. And she wants to know that, hey, is this guy for real? Is this the guy that I married because I knew that he was going to just step up to the plate and be with our family and, and, and help our family win? She is paying attention to everything, gentlemen. You can't get away with anything. So anything you think you're getting away with right now and you think, oh man, my wife doesn't know about this, my wife doesn't know about that, guys, 
there's an aura, there's an energy, and your wife can feel it. She's special, remember that. And she knows, and she will find out. So get rid of all the crap and the garbage in your life, gentlemen. Be with your family, treat your wife well, and remember that you chose her, and she chose you, and you have an obligation to your wife, and it's a lifetime commitment. And I talked about that last week in the podcast, that when you get married, it's a commitment, guys. You're all in for the long haul. You must have that uh, mindset. All right, guys? Well, with that being said, let me recap the three things that you must know about your wife. Number one, you must know that your wife is special, so treat her as so. Number two, you must know that your wife is craving and desiring and pleading for a manly leader in the home. And if you're not that, guys, you don't want her to find somebody else that's more manly leader than you. And then number three, guys, is that your wife is paying attention. And she knows, and she will find out, and it's just a matter of time. Okay, if you're a good guy, or if you're a bad guy, or what it is. All right, gentlemen, so with that being said, if you're a guy that likes to help other men, if you're a guy that likes to see other men dominate life and succeed in every area, then gentlemen, I invite you to share the podcast. Let other men know about what we're doing at Onward Men because we're making men better. When men get better, society gets better, nations get better, the world gets better, and that is our mission and that is our vision. And with that being said, guys, I hope you dominate your day, crush your Wednesday, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for Mission. Thursday. Peace.